Hello everybody, I'm Jessica and welcome back to the Mountain Queen world for another episode of Mountain Queen. And in today's episode, well, we have a mending book, which I purchased at the end of the last, the last episode of Uncut Ramblings. If you saw that, then you, then you know that that happened. And so in this episode, I want to make myself a good helmet with a lot of good enchantments. And then I also want to make access to mending easier for myself. And the best way to do that currently is to improve the uh, ease with which I can trade with this villager who is still behind this wall. Hello there, villager. How are you? Oh, he's uh, he's walking free now. I gotta be careful. Um, so it's 15 emeralds plus a book for a mending book. And we can get emeralds for books. We can also get emeralds for ink sacks. And we can get emeralds for books and quills. So we have the ingredients for all of that, but I want to make things a little easier. So one thing I want to do is make it easier to farm cows for leather, because we are kind of short on leather, and I want an easier way to access it. So the first thing we're going to do is go find some cows that we can bring back here. Well, that took way too long. Take a look at my inventory. It contains a whole lot of raw beef and some leather. Uh, as well as I've, I've gotten some more feathers and some more ink sacks from uh, wandering around getting stuff. And you'll notice that there are ten leads. That's because I was using leads to get some cows back here. But there are only two cows in this little pit. Uh, and uh, originally I picked up six, but as I was climbing up the side of the mountain, I kept lifting them up using the leads and they'd be dangling and then they would accumulate fall damage and then they'd hit the ground and die. And so I lost every single cow that I initially leashed, which is, as you can imagine, not great. So I had to go and find two more and I did eventually. So we now have two cows, which is not as many as I would have liked, but it's enough. And we are going to pop this food in the furnace because there's no reason not to. And then now we have some leather, I suppose, to make stuff with. And we should also breed up those cows so we have a steady supply in the future, which was the entire goal of the operation. Now, with six cows, we probably would have been do able to do a couple of rounds of breeding and then have some cows to uh, harvest, so to speak. But since we have only two cows, obviously we're not going to be able to do any culling of the herd anytime soon, so for now we're just going to breed them up and leave them be, and they will be for the collection of future emeralds for mending. And for now, we're just going to craft up whatever we can and sell it to the villager in hopes of getting maybe two or three more mending books. That would be very nice indeed. All right, seven books and quills, and I can't even craft them all. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, and for some reason I have five more in here. Interesting. Well, I guess I might as well use them, right? All right. Wonder if we can get another... I think we can get another one. We might even be able to get two. All right, you are going to stay in here, right? I don't trust you. I'm going to block you in for sure. And then, hello. All right. Hey, I thought it was 15 before. Wasn't it 15? I don't remember. All right, let's see what we can do here. Give me your sweet, sweet emeralds. All right, 27. And hey, yeah, look, that brought it back down to 15 again. I don't know what's causing that. Huh? Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't have any books anymore. Well, that's kind of annoying. I need three more emeralds. Fortunately, there's the ink sack trade. All right, and seeing as we already have the mending for my helmet, now I suppose we can put it on the silk touch pickaxe and uh, maybe my turtle helmet or... No, 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 no. <laughs> of course, we need a sword. A sword is what we need next. Yes, that is what that will go on. I would like a couple of mending books, please. Bam. And bam. We got ourselves a mending villager, my friends, and he is so useful. Okay. Now, time to enchant some stuff. Alright, my friends. So, a significant amount of time has passed since the last clip you saw, which you can probably tell from a couple of things. First of all, my diamond helmet. Second of all, the things you can see in my hotbar. And third of all, the fact that I'm now wearing my March skin. 
Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing the original skin for this channel, which is the March skin, although in just a couple of days I'm going to be switching to my April skin. It's been that long. But, yes, we have made significant progress. We AFK'd at the skeleton farm over in that direction for bones, but more importantly for XP so that I could repair my stuff and also enchant some new stuff and rename it. So now what we have is a brand new helmet called Cat's Ears, Aqua Affinity, Respiration, Mending, and Fire Protection. And we also have two pickaxes, one of which was already enchanted with mending. That's this one, I believe. No, it's this one, I think. Anyway, one of them was not enchanted with mending, but now they both are. And they are called the Sheathed Digger and the Unsheathed Digger. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing those correctly, but I like the titles anyway. And this one has Silk Touch, and the idea is that, you know, I am not using my claws. The claws are sheathed when I'm digging with that one, so I'm, you know, gently scratching at the rock and keeping the blocks intact. And with this one, I'm tearing it apart with my claws. My claws that must be as hard as diamonds or something, I don't know. But uh, that's why that has fortune, because it can rip apart the blocks. And then this, of course, this is my favorite new item that I have. It's called Cat's Claw, and it has a ton of enchantments on there. And I've been testing it out, my friends. As you can see, I have a ton of steak and chicken in my inventory. And I've also, more importantly, been collecting leather and feathers. There have been more, but I turned them into books so that I could trade with the villager, and I have two more mending books here, so that's what I've been up to with those. The looting on this sword has really been helpful with that. I can also now one-hit kill cows, which is awesome. And more importantly, I've also been testing out my sword on Endermen, and I have collected, oh, I've collected some phantom membrane as well, which is great. I might be making some potions of slow falling, but I have 16 ender pearls now, which is awesome. And that is, of course, four more than the maximum I would need to activate an end portal. So I think I'm going to be going looking for the end next episode or the episode after that. So get excited for that, you know? Get excited. I am super pumped for that. For now, however, this is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next week with another video. Bye!